this is a block about domain name and it's um for me personally <laughs> big time made my day big time just for me personally but um <laughs> yeah this is, but let's just say a domain name has just sold for 20,000 quid about $27,500, which is about 19950 quid, almost 20 grand, UK. But the problem is, it's the most familiar website address of a multi-billion dollar brand that owns 20,000 website addresses, that has got to let 10,000 website addresses expire or be sold. But one of them I didn't think that they would actually let like, expire is the one that the public know the brand for. And it, this is the one that has been sold. It could have been sold within the group. It's a, big, it's a large multi billion dollar group, so it could be sold within the group. But it could also be bought by competition. If it had been bought by competition, it would be interesting, very interesting, in the UK. Now, domain name investors will say .com is everything, .com is everything. And this brand has got the .com. And it wants to go global, but its audience is the UK. The majority of its audience. And the problem is, a lot of its audience is elderly and don't have the internet. But if they had to go to the internet, they would use this website address. They would just type this website address into Google. But that now, it will come up as, um, it won't appear as the brand because they've just sold it or let it expire. <laughs> this is also a UK problem because... In the UK, we've got .co.uk and we've got .uk, and we are going to go towards .uk. Yeah, there's a lot of brands that have got the .com, the .co.uk, and they've not bothered with the .uk. And if you ask them, I say we're, we're quite happy with the .co.uk. So what's happened? What happened is, is that you had a, a window of opportunity to protect your brand and buy the .uk or the .co.uk that you own. Many brands didn't want to do this. So they've left the .uk sitting there and they're being bought. Right? So when the brand wants to eventually buy the, U, the .uk, it won't be there because it's owned by somebody else. And then you've got to go to a UDRP or an RDNH tribunal right? to get it back. Pay lawyers or whatever. So, yeah, although we are going to the .uk, there's this brand should have had a redirect from the .co.uk into the .com, as it owns both. But it took two minutes to do. Yeah, easy. Yeah. It didn't do that, so it's been sold. It just depends on now who owns it. Because there's many that would like to own it, <coughs> just on principle. And never let it, never, never sell it to any, anybody. But that's the situation in the UK. And we're talking a household name that everybody knows. <laughs> but I just found today that the website address, this particular website address has been sold. So it's effectively news, but it won't be on their news. <laughs> it's, it's not regarded as news. You don't see website address sales on their news. You won't see website address sales, million pound sales in the paper. Because I don't bother. And then that is a situation, yeah. A paper's got a issue with a domain that they own the .co.uk and they own the hyphen in .com of their brand, but they don't own the two word .com of their brand, which they've lost a couple of times, at least once, I think, in um, UDRP or RDNH uh, tribunal. I think. Not sure. But, um, because in the UK, it's trendy to have the hyphen in the middle. But in the States, it's just two 
word.com, no hyphen. Once you own it, 